um, which of the following nerves is most likely compressed in this patient? Axillary nerve, median nerve, radial nerve, ulnar, or musculocutaneous? A 12-year-old woman, a 42, 42-year-old woman presents with a six-month history of numbness and tingling in her right hand, particularly at night. She works at a data entry clerk and spends most of her, as a data entry clerk and spends most of her day typing on a computer keyboard. These symptoms are most pronounced in the thumb, index finger, and index finger and middle finger at her on her right hand. Uh, Tennell's signs and Phalen's tests are both positive, which of the following nerves is most likely compressed. Okay, so um, if I didn't know what Tennell's sign and Phalen's sign was, um, those are both um, tests of uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. And so that would already point me to uh, median nerve. Um, and so that would be my answer. But I just to, to add to that, like, yes, the symptom is usually common among people who type. Um, it is also in the thumb, index finger, and middle finger um, as the main like distribution of the, of the median nerve. Ulnar nerve would be the other two fingers. Um, axillary doesn't involve the hand. Radio involves the back of the hand. And musculocutaneous does not involve the hand. And so I would be pretty confident with selecting median nerve and moving on. Perfect. Perfect. So, you know, quick question, of course, you know, this, this is slam dunk for median nerve or carpal tunnel here. Do you know other risk factors for carpal tunnel besides kind of your profession? Sometimes um, I randomly ask. I would say maybe just some blunt trauma. Um, I don't know. Oh, maybe, um, I actually don't know. Maybe, maybe like, I don't know. Rheumato I don't know. Rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know. Yeah. So, so you could fact check me on this. If I remember, this is like, I'm pulling this way back in my memory, but I think pregnancy, you can increase your risk for carpal tunnel. And oh, wow. also, um, if you have, if you're on dialysis, so, oh, wow. okay. so kind of some weird things that, um, you know, um, they can ask you like a really tricky question. I, I, I don't remember if I saw it at least one time on a weird practice test, but it was like, you know, it fit this criteria, right. Um, and they go, you know, instead of asking you which of the following nerves is most likely compressed or what is the diagnosis, they go, you know, um, what is this disease process associated with or something like that. So you actually and, are correct. I'm looking it up right now. It is associated with pregnancy due to edema and then a couple of downs is dialysis related amyloidosis. Look at that. Still got it in the brain. Somewhere. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Still got it somewhere up in the brain. But yeah, so kind of weird things. Um, you know, some, like I said, this is over, you know, years of tutoring and you know, practice tests back in the day, but you pick up these like little tidbits, right? But um, you got the main things down. And so you just slowly add a little bit more. So for sure.